this year there are six beaches in Gravenhurst that are sampled. And from looking at the data, they've actually had a pretty good history this year. Um, with only three of the six beaches being posted at any one time. And currently Gull Lake is posted, it is being resampled today. And, you know, when we compare say the Gravenhurst beaches with some of our other beaches that may be um, more prone to beach postings, there are certain factors that make beaches you know, more prone to environmental factors. So things like, um, having a lot of geese or a lot of gulls at the lake, uh, a lot of pets, whether or not it's, um, it's rain. So some beaches are more prone to the effects of uh, surface contaminants that are washed into the water from the rains. The second would be water clarity. So when the water's turbid, there's a better chance, uh, turbid and cloudy, there's a better chance that the bacteria level is going to be elevated. But if you do go in, I mean, what are some of the things that could happen? Well, there's a risk of uh, infection and illness. So there's a risk of, you know, eye, ear, nose and throat infections. And then if the water swallow, then stomach, stomach illnesses. So vomiting, diarrhea, that type of thing. Um, but just to like everyone should be aware that there's always some sort of risk when you're swimming in open water. Right. It, and the water quality fluctuates. Um, but from the data, it looks like the Gravenhurst beaches are doing pretty good this year. It's not abnormal for a beach to have a few uh, postings throughout the beach season. It's common. Uh, it happens to most uh, most beaches, even the best of them. So uh, that's why we do the regular testing and we do it uh, weekly. And more often, if necessary, if a beach is posted, then uh, the beach, you know, uh, whether it's us or um, the municipalities, because some municipalities do sample their own beaches, we'll try to get out sooner to do the resample to see what exactly uh, is going on with that beach.